Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new series on a game called Rebel Galaxy. Rebel Galaxy, according to their Steam page, is a swashbuckling space adventure with action-packed combat, exploration, discovery, trade, and negotiation with the outlandish Denzians at the edge of a known universe. It's kind of a lot to come uh, to to get out of a, a Steam description. To this game, to me, it's kind of a mixture of maybe the old freelancer game. Um, Sid Meier's Pirates, Elite Dangerous, all kind of mashed together and has its own uh, unique and interesting design and uh, structure to it. The game is developed by Double Damage, and that is Travis Baldry and Eric Schaefer, two guys that made this game. Uh, they have some experience working on games like Torchlight and Torchlight 2. I think they have some experience on the Diablo, uh, early Diablo games too. So they, they have a good experience, good pedigree of developers. And uh, from what I played for about the last hour or two, it's a lot of fun. Now, it's a pretty deep game. It's about 30 to 40 hours for a full playthrough. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do. I don't know if we're going to go through a whole thing, but I definitely, or a whole campaign, but I definitely wanted to see where we can go and, and how much fun we can have with it uh, for a while here. Uh, the game is available on October 20th for $20, and it will be available on Steam and Good Old Games to begin with. Uh, PS4, Xbox One, and Mac are soon to follow. So if there is anything else I missed down below in the video description, there will be a whole lot more information as well as uh, a Steam link that you can go check out the game, as well as the game's, the developer's official website for the game. So with that said, uh, we're going to start up a new game, and I'm going to be quiet as you get a little background information from the intro cutscene. So here we go. Six days ago, you received a cryptic message from your Aunt Juno, the family black sheep who you haven't seen or heard from in over ten years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near-derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, an out-of-the-way space station with a questionable reputation. She practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. This is a place of liars and thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. That sounds kind of awesome, doesn't it? Kind of going off into the, the unknown universe. Thanks to Grandma, or I guess Aunt. So here we go, there's Rust City. A message from station, hold down E. You can go there. Ah, there you are. Your aunt asked me to keep an eye out for you. I see you found her old ship. Bring it to the dock and meet me at the bar. I have something for you. Who are you? Ah, where are my manners? I am Orzu, an old friend of your aunt's back in your in my younger, wilder days. Now I own my own bar here, and life is much quieter. I see. Well, I guess I'll see you after the dock. See you soon. Cool. Welcome to Rebel Galaxy. First, you're going to want to get comfortable maneuvering your ship. Tap E to increase your throttle by 24 in 25% increments, and Q to reduce it, A and D to steer. Next, you want to dock the nearby station. Use the mouse to look around, fly close enough, and a contact prompt will know that you can hold E to dock. From there, visit the bar and find out what Orzu has to say. All right, cool. So uh, you can see in the top right corner, E. E ups and Q downs the, uh, the throttle. And then uh, W, or actually we can hold E to and hit the warp mode. Um, A and D turn to the side. So the game is the game is two dimensional. You can see we're on two dimensions, but some of the enemies can fly in the third dimension. So it's kind of a, a planar um, game rather than a full three dimensional one. Kind of an interesting design, if you ask me. But it, it's more of a naval naval combat feel, which is why I included the Sid Meier's Pirates in my intro discussion. Um, so we're going to fly closer here. I use my warp mode with W. We're going to get up there closer to the thing, and then we're going to hold down E to dock. Pretty cool. Buy a turret. The Rasputin 2 has two man turrets, but only one turret installed at present. It's a good idea to visit the equipment bay, enter the weapons selection, section, and purchase a new scatter turret to install in your beta turret mount. All right. So equipment bay. Uh, let's see. Components, maybe? Did it just tell me where it was? No, it didn't. Uh, defense weapons, probably, broadside, alpha turret, beta turret, there's the beta turret, and we can get, I guess, the scatter turret, let's grab that, uh, buy for 750, yes, install that component, very cool, we'll get into that in a little bit, uh, there'll be plenty of fighting in this game, so we have uh, two scatter turrets, and we have the broadside cannons, cool, and we're gonna go back to escape, we're gonna visit the bar and talk to Orzu again, 
meet Orzu. Ah, my, you're a spitting image of Juno. Good to see you. Where is my aunt? I was supposed to meet her here. Sure, sure. Just tell me where my aunt is. Calm down, my friend. I've done nothing to her, but I haven't seen her in nearly a week. She was afraid she wouldn't make it back before you arrived. Why do you say that? Because she gave me something to give you on her behalf. Why would she have done so if she was expecting to be here present? What is it? Maybe it'll tell me how to find her. That may be. She called it a specter, although I doubt that's the proper name. Judo mentioned that it's some sort of AI symbiote, whatever that means. Can I see it? Here you go. There it is. As to your aunt, frankly, you're in no shape to find her. That's the Rasputin parking in the hangar, isn't it? I hate to say it, but times have changed since that was a worthy ship. Well, you've got no deflector, no tractor beam, that whole plating is like paper, and to be frank, your weapon systems are practically pop guns, no offense. Any suggestions? Well, I can give you an upgrade or two. Juno would never forgive me if I sent you off to an inevitable doom. I can't afford to let you go for nothing, though. I've got a little something you could help me in exchange. What kind of something? Got a shipment of Greel whiskey coming in. My supplier, however, seems to have gotten himself into hot water and can't come near the station. I'll give you the payment if you can make it the exchange. I'll have something for you when you return. Sure. Excellent. Here's 500 credits for the payoff. My coordinates and the coordinates where you'll meet. His name is Branson Cole. And he should be waiting for you. Bring the whiskey back, and we'll get it squared away. And I'll have some more information as well. Awesome! So we, we get uh, the mission completed. New mission, the exchange. We can hire mercenaries. News board. News boards are kind of cool. War has struck Medea. A treaty delegation is set off for Lizarov Void to broker peace. Huh. Looking for a place to unload your bio waste? This is it. So it tells you different things here, like uh, a high surplus of tech gear in... Uh, Briarus division. Uh, there's a convoy in load and low price on goods. So it kind of tells you, like uh, Sid Meier's Pirates, where it told you, like, up and down the, the different, uh, like, there's a surplus of wood here, there's a surplus of cannons here, go get them. So that's kind of what this is. So you can go trade, do all sorts of fun trading on it. Then we can leave the bar and we can actually escape out of here. And now we're going to go back into the main world and do our first mission. Missions are marked with gold diamonds on your screen and radar. Adjust your heading and point towards your destination. As you move farther away from large objects, you will accelerate to sublight speed and warp capability will become available. Warping allows you to navigate vast distances very quickly. View your stellar map, pressing control to get a better view of potential destinations and routes. Awesome. All right, so let's turn around and there is our primary mission, the exchange. We're gonna hit our E button to go engines maximum and then we can hold W to boost. And then we should get away from the station. It's kind of a long way away, too. And we should be able to warp. There we go. Engage warp. Here we go. Warp speed. Perfect. So that's going to take a little bit of time to get there. Usually there's some interesting things that pop up in between. Uh, I hope so, anyway. I guess it's going coming in pretty quick. Um, there are There's all sorts of like interesting items and different events that pop up. I guess seemingly randomly. Oh, distress beacon. Aha, over here. So there's the distress beacon. We can boost over there using our W key. We don't want to completely drain it out. Boosters Oops, I just totally drained it out. After I got done saying I didn't want to totally drain it out. Distress beacons usually are some sort of uh, guy A is being attacked by guy B, side with guy A to kill guy B. But sometimes not. Okay, broadside combat. Combat in Rebel, Rebel, Rebel Galaxy is naval style, which means broadsides. Use left mouse button to fire your broadside cannons. To aim your broadsides, orbit camera, orbit the camera until it faces in the direction you wish to fire. Now hold the right mouse button to charge your broadsides. The shot predictor will show where the projectiles will travel and can be adjusted with the mouse. The longer you hold the right mouse button, the more accurate, accurate and synchronized your shots will be. Cool. All right, we got the... Okay, we got a couple guys here. We can actually pulse to scan everything. Let's go to that guy. Okay, let's slow down. We got a bomber. And that guy is getting hit. All right, so we're stopped. We hit like two or three. We get our turrets up. We can really... Oh, he's out of our range now. Okay, let's try a different guy. They're all out of range. We're gonna go in behind him. Oh, he's gonna get hit. There's the bomber. We're on him. 
I wonder if we get any... Oh, that's the guy we were trying to help. Now they're all on us. That's not good. You see how it is the naval side, but they can go vertically. Which is kind of an interesting design choice. Okay, let's uh, go back on to the broadsides and try to hit these guys directly. Oh, we're going to get ripped apart. I'm going to try to escape. Our friend got beat up. Actually, oh, that's the... Uh, so when people die, they uh, drop loot. Shoot. Down. They're taking us out down. from behind. We better, we better attack these dudes. As a missile. Down. Uh oh. Yeah, there's the broadsides. We'll let the target go. We hit him directly. Didn't do anything to him. Come on, take him down. There we go. Got him. Take him out. Eh. Got one down. Just the hauler. Take you out again. Nope, missed him. Oh, we take that guy down. Ooh, that was a good hit. Another good hit. Another good hit. He's destroyed. Perfect. If I had a tractor beam, we could we can get that stuff, but we don't. That's too bad. We'll just have to. Go to warp speed over here. Go to back to their exchange. It shouldn't be take too long to get to. Okay. And there are stuff that we're passing by. All kinds of things on the map that we can go explore. Take a look at. All right, pulse scanning. Use your pulse function. Press control to detect distant objects and resources and be notified of bounties in scan area. Mission important icons will be marked with an exclamation point to indicate their status. Hostile and friendly targets will appear red and blue diamonds. Cargo and valuables will appear as pulse diamonds, purple diamonds. Non-piloted mission objects will appear as gold diamonds containing a question mark. Asteroids containing harvestable resources will be marked with gray diamonds. All right, and exit warp. All right, there is Branson Cole. Hello, brother. Let's take a talk to you. Hey there. Or as you send you, you got my payment. Sure do. Here's the payment. Here's the cash. 500 credits. Yeah, but honestly, I think I'll keep it for myself. Hand over the cargo or blow a hole clear through you. Uh, let's just uh, give him the cash. Doing business with you. Thanks, brother. Mission complete. Yeah, we can go bring that back to the dude. Engines at maximum. Accelerate. Shouldn't be too hard to get home. Thanks, brother. Whee! Void drain your booster. Rockets keep them from engaging the long cooldown. Yeah, that's like a station there, isn't it? Interesting station. And we could we could hold down control, go to pulse, and see what's over there. A friendly. And there are a couple enemies over there. So we could go in, kill some people. There's also some uh, additional pods over here. The valuables that blew up. Uh, let's just go back and deliver the whiskey. That sounds like a better idea. <laughs> I think this game is totally random every time you generate a new world. I think, uh, I'm not positive on that, but it, it feels like it to me. Uh-oh. <laughs> we found a nebula. Let's, uh, try to get out of here. Oh, man. Stuck in a nebula. Okay, I know I got a long cooldown. Sorry. I had to get better at that. There we go. Exiting the Stellar Nebula. Can't boost yet. Come on, let me out. There we go. Warp mode. And then there's the map that we can look at during this too. Stellar map. So all the bad guys around, that's where we're supposed to go. There's some other some other question or exclamation points on here. We could go check out. Right now we're just gonna deliver the whiskey. We can go look at the trade hubs. Really cool. Connection to Hades system. So there are a bunch of different systems as well. Uh, we're going to just get out of there. Oh, and now we're catching up to where we were. That's so neat. And we're getting really close. Let's exit warp when we're a little closer. Now. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, we could have gotten a little bit closer. I'll have to get that worked out too. All the space drunk around. 
Love it. Got a range for a city. Perfect. Come on in. Hold the dock. Let's go talk to Orzu. Oh wow, we got thirteen thousand credits. Okay, we can we can repair. Repair everything. Blah. Repair all. Yeah, that's not too bad. Repair. Okay. And oh, we can we have the hammerhead. Alright, we can get Mastodon. Scarabs, Vanguards, Manticore. That sounds cool. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Uh, Ten Hassan, maybe? We can go back. I don't want to. I don't want to look at new ships right now. We want to visit the bar. We want to talk to our buddy Orzu. Excellent. Many thanks for the help. We've got two options for you here: a deflector and a tractor beam. Deflectors are an excellent defense in combat, and of course, you'll need a tractor to bring in to objects into Rasputin's hold. Uh, let's do the tractor beam. Fine choice. I'll have my men transfer it to Rasputin right away. So what about my aunt? Yes, of course. But I was hoping I might trouble you for a quick favor, given how you deftly exchange, handled the exchange. Well, tell me about it, I suppose. It's a simple matter. I have some items in a remote storage location, and given their contents, it would be best if they weren't discovered by any interested parties. I need them disposed of, and no real risk to you. Uh, I guess I can do that. Perfect. Well, here's the relevant information. Destroy the containers however you see fit. I'm sure it won't take a moment. Uh, let's see, should we go, let's leave the bar, and we're going to go back to the shipyard, not the shipyard, we're going to go back to the equipment bay, that's what I was thinking. We should be able to buy a deflector shield on our own, yeah, we can buy that, buy and install, perfect, not the most exciting thing, primary shields are still pretty good, um, 300, takes less time, we'll just leave that for now, then we have standard hull plating. We can get the ceramic hull plating, or just wait all together. So defense, we got the weapons. We could get uh, a secondary. Yeah, we got flat cannons. There should be missiles in here. I think these are missiles, and these are um, pulse. I'm not sure what that icon means, but these are missiles. Yeah. EMP, maybe like a, a pulse or a electrical thing. We could we could get the missile launcher. The DF? Does that say DF? Yeah, Dwarf Fortress Missile Launcher. That'd be awesome. I wish. Um, yeah, why not? We'll just do it. We'll just blow all our money right away. Ordinances. What is that? Launchers. Yeah, that's what... Oh, those well, got 32 of 32. Ordinance full. Okay, so we actually have to have ammo for it to blow it up. All right, commodities market. We can buy a bunch of commodities here. Sp Space slaves. I thought that said livers. Because <laughs> I, I confused all the things together. So, let's see. Munitions. You can see the system average if it's a high price or low price. That's really cool. They have three supply. So, the price of live organs is still relatively low. <laughs> Not necessarily questionably obtained. That's awesome. All right. Let's get out of here. And we're going to go blow up whatever the dude had for us to blow up. I guess we'll have to go this way. At maximum. Oh yeah, shift to use the missiles too. That's so cool. I just have to get all the controls down. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to a new game. Ah, as I as I drain the boosters again, and we can hit tab to scan too. Huh. Oh, cool. Okay, can I click on that? E? No. Okay, let's exit that. There we go. And let's go to warp speed again. It's pretty close. Exiting warp soon. Can't do a pulse when we're in. Oh, we can see what our faction faction levels are too. So if we wanted to pick one guy, stay out of the cloud of space goop. Sorry, I gotta come back. Exit warp. Now we'll warp again. Get a little closer. Clean up operation. I have a feeling this isn't going to be as easy as was made sounded. Let's pulse. See if there's anything here. Okay. There's a bad guy. How close are you? Full stop. Port shields down. Shields are down. Scatter turret. Hmm. Oh, we go into broadside mode. Broadsides. Did that blow it up? 
Oopsies, I fired too soon. Can I pulse again? I, you know, if I was in range, then I'd probably hit it. That would make make sense, but now wouldn't it? Engines at maximum. Nebula interference detected. All right, that'd be good. I wonder if I can actually. I don't think I can. I was wondering if I could. There we go. I think I blow it up pretty soon. There we go. One down. How many do you have? Ow. Stupid nebulations. Crate one. Crate two. Crate three. Attack four. Dinosaur. I knew it. Your turrets are an important part of combat. You're capable of firing at targets with your broad size can't reach. Use two and three to switch between stations of your vessel. This will allow you to manually control individual turret groups. When controlling a turret group, use the most aim in the turret's reticle. Hold the mouse button to continuously fire until it overheats, and then you get in trouble. Where are you? Shields down. Shoot, there he is. Scatter turret. Uh, I don't like being in here. Warning. Shut up! I don't want to get collisionized. Uh oh. Broadsides. down. And attack. And tab. Yeah. Oops, wrong button. I want to. What was it? Shift. There is a missile. Warning. We're going after him. This is a launcher. Dumpfire missile. Oh, they're dumpfire. Got it. Engines at maximum. Port shields down. Okay. Do we? Did we do what we're supposed to do? Can I get out of here? Cause we got guys all over us. Warning. Got two. Hits. Take them out. Take them out. Yes. Good job. And we'll go one more. Oopsies. Ooh, that was close. Maybe I shouldn't be flying so fast. Let's go back to the turret mode. Let's uh, let the let's let the defense attack the turrets. Good shot. Good. Okay, we'll take them head on now. Ah, it's hard to control. He's out of range. Okay, I'm gonna hit dumb fire. Oh, that fires out the sides. That makes sense, doesn't it? Scatter turret. Bad sides. Okay, shift mode. Oh, that flare is directly out of the front. That's a good hit. We took out the other fighter, looks like. I gotta figure out how to use those turrets. Accelerating to sublight. Port shields okay. down. Taking him out now. Come on, brother. Oh, you're gonna stop? I like it when you stop. I can get behind you in your blind spot. Ow! It's not a blind spot. Ow! It's not a blind spot. Scatter turret. Broadsides. Let's go back to broadsides. Seems like we have to get the turret or his uh his shields completely done. Okay. I'm gonna go in real close to him and then launch a bunch of missiles right in his face. If I can do that. There we go. Okay. How's this working? Is it is, is that little blue bar isn't going down at all? There it actually is going down now. Okay. Let's just stay in his relative blind spot. Let his turret try to take me out. We're gonna get double jack or retaliator. He's dead now. Mission complete. Good work. Do you have any fun stuff for me to pick up? Doesn't look like it. Press and hold. Let's get out of here. Engines at maximum. All squared away. Sublight boosters depleted. 
Good work. 3,600 more credits. And we're going to make it home just in time to end the episode. That's pretty cool. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think of this game if you want to see more of it. I know there's still probably a lot of fans around from uh, when I played Elite Dangerous. I hope you guys will enjoy this one as much as I'm hoping to enjoy it too. I don't know. I mean, it's a new game. It's a little bit difficult to, to gauge interest when it's it's so new like this. So let's get in. We're going to dock before we crash. We're going to go talk to... Talk to the bar. Let's do our repairs quick. Repair 54 credits. That wasn't so bad. Repairs Repair all. And oh, we could rename the ship. Huh. I don't want to do that. Every time I rename something, I get attached to it. And then it usually blows up. We're going to refill our ordinance. Oh, only 30. Wow, that's cheap. And visit the bar. Speak to Orzu. Ah, you're so reliable. I can see Juno's influence. Thank you again for all your help. Okay, favors done. Now it's time for you to hold up your end. Yes, of course. Well, if you want to track Juno down, I think your most likely bet is to speak to you with, uh, Sander, her, um, partner. Partner? Well, I... How much do you know about your aunt's, uh, activities? I know she was a trader made a lot of money. Out here on the frontier. That's one way to look at it. Most folks wouldn't call it smuggling, though. And Sander moved the goods for her. You should try and get in touch with him. He's at some scabby station at the edge of the system. I'll mark it on your chart. Thanks. I'll check it out. All right. So we got a, a decent understanding about the, the beginning of the game. We got a new system. We got a market glut. Ryer VS4 is experiencing market glut with oversupply of many commodities. So we could we could start doing some trading. Uh, tech boom going up. I think I'm going to go more of the fighting style rather than the trading thing. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, guys, definitely tell me what you think of this game. And uh, let's let's see if we can play a bunch more of it. So keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.